What's up YouTube? This is Dinesh for the TigerTech.com. I know I've been doing a lot of mobile related videos as of lately, so I thought I'd change things up a bit and do a what's in my dock video. A lot of Mac YouTubers who review and or who are into Mac do these type of videos. For example, Soldier Knows Best, DRUBK and the creative one is a good way to discover new applications and some applications you might have heard of, some applications that are new to you, it's really a good way to discover new Mac applications. Hopefully I'll be doing one of these videos maybe every six months or so just to give you guys an example of what new applications that I'm using on my Mac. And if you want me to do a review of any of these applications or if you suggest an application, just personal message me or better yet, just leave a comment below. And if you do like this video, if you find it helpful, thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and do so. So we'll go ahead with um, what's in my doc version one. So here we have Finder. Finder is pretty much a way of browsing through all your contents on your Mac. It comes with any OS X, Snow Leopard, Leopard. So that's pretty basic, straightforward stuff. And over here we have Mail. It's a mail client that comes with Mac as well. You can integrate Yahoo, Gmail. It's pretty much an Outlook for your Mac. And there we have Address Book, Time Machine. Time Machine is a good way of backing up all your contents on your Mac. You, I really suggest you do that. And here we have iPhoto. iPhoto is a application. It's a good way to manage all your photos. It comes with the iLife suite iLife 09 or even 011 right now. Here we have Newsfire. Newsfire is a reader application. Um, it's a good way to follow all your blogs and stuff. As you can see, I need to be doing some reading right now. Um, I'm behind on my blog readings. And over here we have Firefox, Chrome, and right beside um, MSN Messenger we have Safari and Opera. My favorite browser would be Chrome and second to that would be Safari just because um, Firefox tends to freeze sometimes and force close sometimes. And here as I said MSN Messenger, typical you know MSN client just like you would find on Windows. iMovie is another application that comes in the iLife suite. It's one of my most used applications. It's the application that I use to edit most of my videos if not all. Sometimes I use uh, Final Cut, but mostly I use iMovie. It's very simple to use. Just drag, you know, it's a, it's a very basic program, but it's a very good tool to edit and uh, make videos. So here we have Tweety and TweetDeck. These are Twitter clients. If you want to follow me on Twitter, go ahead, do so. Um, it's twitter.com slash the tiger tech. Here, Onyx is a system um, application where you can, it's pretty much, you can check your system. It's a maintenance application. I suggest, you know, you, you, know, you know, open up Onyx once in a while and, um, you know, just do a system check just to see if everything's okay. And here's an application that everybody should be familiar with, iTunes, is to sync your iPod you know all sorts of stuff right now iTunes have everything pretty much even a social network built into it called ping and um, the next application is virtual DJ I have the free version right here it's a it's one of the it's a well-known application for people who are into DJing and stuff and it's a, it's a very good tool it's actually very basic you know it's easy to use It's a good way to get into starting to um, get into DJing and stuff you know just do some basic mixes and stuff I use this application when I have some, you know, house parties and stuff. It's a good application. Final Cut Pro, um, you probably heard of this application as well, is another advanced video editing um, software made by Apple. Here we have ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is the application that I'm using right now to capture the video and capture the screen. It's a great application if you're into making videos on YouTube or if you want screen capture. It's a must-have application. Adobe Lightroom 3 um, is one of the simplest applications to use in terms of it's a Photoshop but it's a lighter version of Photoshop and um, I use most of you know to edit photos and stuff this is my primary application you know I feel that Photoshop is a bit heavy and it's, a, it's chunky you know it takes a long time to open process Adobe um, Lightroom 3 is one of the best applications for photo enthusiasts out there 
system preference, you know, here we can go into all your system preferences and, you know, change the way that you want to run your Mac. iChat is a chat client which uh, comes preloaded with Mac and you can link your Google buddies and everything. So that's iChat. Microsoft Word, this is the Mac version. iWeb also comes with the iLife suite. I don't really use that actually. Caffeine is a good application as well. It, it's, it's a simple application. What it does is it would allow your Mac to stay awake. So you can set your preference for example, um, forever until you you know turn it off for 15 minutes, two hours, five hours. So if you're doing some editing, let's say for example, when I um, convert my videos or upload them to YouTube, I turn on caffeine so my Mac doesn't go to sleep. App Cleaner is an easy way of uninstalling applications. As you probably know, with Mac applications, sometimes when you uninstall some, you know, some applications, they leave stuff behind. This one is very easy. So if you want to quickly um, uninstall an application, for example, like if I want to uninstall this uh, Better Touch tool, I can just drag it like that and here it is and we just delete and voila, it's gone. It's a simple application. It's free. You can just Google it. I'll make a list of all the applications on the side notes. Active Monitor is pretty much task manager on your Windows. Here we can force stop, quit applications that are running and you can check how your Mac is performing, you know, your system memory and all sorts of stuff. Cinch is an application that allows you to have Windows snapping feature. I've actually done a review of this application. So for example, this would, what it would do is just, you know, it, it, this is the application that you would find on, you know, it comes standard with Windows 7. It can just Windows snap just like that. But I, I would suggest you save the $7 and get this other application, which is actually better. It's called Better Touch Tool, which is a great application. It's a free application. I would um, just Google it, Better Touch Tool. And this gives you the Windows snap, snap feature as well. So you can snap window and actually it gives you a better um, looking um, window snap feature. And also you can customize the living shit out of this application for your magic mouse and your trackpad on your MacBook Pro. For example, I have my magic mouse over here. You could do different tabs. For example, if I tap it twice, it goes into expose like that. If, we, if you tap it with five fingers, there's so many things you could do with this application. It's a great application. It's a must download if you have a Magic Mouse or a trackpad um, MacBook Pro with the multi-touch trackpad. Text edit, you know, it's a simple Word document. I actually use this over um, Microsoft Word sometimes. Just, you know, if I want to jot something down quickly, quick notes, I do this. I use the text edit. Handbrake is a video converter application. It's a free application. It's another must have. This will convert any um, you know any video format into if you want to use it for your Mac or if you want to use it for your iPhone PSP it's a great application so must have double twist double twist is another application if you're into if you're using other than iPhone or any other iOS device or an iPod and if you want to sync your app um, iTunes library to your Android phone or anything else or even you know just search on Amazon mp3 so it's built in it's a good application just if you want to have a have your iTunes synced to a non Apple device. Phone view is a $20 application which I bought when I had my iPhone and this application allows you to sync your contacts sync your SMS and everything else all in one. It's a great little tool but I found it that um, they didn't really update the application I've had it for a little while and there haven't been any updates and not working properly with the iPhone 4 so I would suggest you don't go out and buy this application. uTorrent, you probably heard of it, um, you know, downloading torrents and stuff. QuickTime Player, just you know, QuickTime Player, you probably heard of that as well. Picture Viewer is just to view pictures. And I have other applications here as well. Here um, I have some, you know, my Blackberry desktop manager and stuff. And uh, all sorts of other applications, Skype and stuff that you know these are applications that I rarely use so I don't
go and put them on my dock. So this has just been a quick what's in my dock video. This is the version one. So look forward to more videos like this in the coming uh, months. Thank you for watching guys. And if you do like this video, make sure you thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you do that as well. I'll be doing some giveaways. I have a lot of these um, iPhone cases to give away. Some, some of these Zags um, cases that Zag sent me. And yeah, tons of these iPhone cases. I have like about like, you know, 10 iPhone cases to do. I'll be, so I'll be doing some giveaways shortly. I just became a YouTube partner. And um, thank you for watching guys. So take care and I'll see you on another video. Peace.